Hey, this is Nature Nate. I'm gonna talk to you about some crampons, and uh, these are the Cassian Blade Runners right here. Uh, these are a higher end. I would I would say they're, they're 350 bucks for these crampons, so they are more expensive than a lot of different crampons. And I'm gonna explain to you why that's the case. Um, they're they're fully rigid, but they are adjustable, so you can. Right here, you can see you can you can adjust them to your boot size. It's got the little uh, adjustable uh, notches right there, and it's really easy. All you do is pull up this little right here. You pull up this little uh, tab right here, and and then you can slide them back and forth. I'm not going to adjust them because I've got them set really nice for my cramp uh, for my boots right now. There's also this little feature right here, this plus and minus knob, and that's so you can fine tune it for your boots. Um, so let's see, some of the other features. So it's got this little shelf right here too that works with the heel of your boot, that's really nice. And it's, it's flexible enough that, that it will mold to your boot. And um, it's also got the ability to change the point setup. So you can see right here, these little notches here, and I'll show you on the back side, those little notches, those little windows. You can actually adjust this front point right here, the, uh, the main point. Um, to either side and get creative with it however it suits you best for the climbing you like to do. And here's, here's the point shape. So it's kind of got this curved down point which is, and then the, at the point itself, it's not uh, angular or it's rounded, it's not angular, which is really nice because when you're in the ice, you can kind of round into it and it's gonna keep purchasing into the ice like that. So that's actually a really nice feature how it's shaped. Um, it allows you to have a little more finesse instead of just bashing your feet in as much. You can kind of like get your platform and then round your toe into the ice and it's going to have a really nice purchase and a really solid, solid platform. And that's also, these, it's got these little spurs right here off the main point. So it's technically a mono point, but it's kind of like a modified mono um, because it's got these two little spurs. So, I mean, it's pretty easy to get this all the way purchased. You can just stand on this single point and it's still pretty stable like that. Um, and I haven't done any mixed myself with these because I don't want to beat them up, but uh, I, I'm assuming you could use them for mixed really well too because it's got this single uh, point coming up, the mono point, that's really strong. But then if you're in the ice, it's got these two sweet spurs um, that give you a really nice solid platform. So you get the, all the advantages of a mono point while still having kind of like the dual point action and a really solid, uh, nice platform. And then also these auxiliary points here uh, on the side, I'll show you from the top too so you can kind of get another read on it. But they also are not set too far back from the main point. So it, if you have your heel, you know, your heels down like you should, it's pretty easy to get all five of those points in, which is such an awesome platform. It's really incredible when you get these uh, fully fully in. They're way more stable than any other cramp I've ever used. And that's why they have a heftier price tag, I think, because they're such an awesome uh, cramp on. They're just, they're just solid, they're, they're really stable. Uh, I would imagine they've gotta be one of the, if not the most stable cramp on on the market. Um, and I'll just show you a couple other adjustability features. You can, you can change around your, uh, the, the heel, uh, the heel cuff, and then also on the toe, you can change this around. It does come with the, uh, the little uh, heel, or the toe uh, cover piece that you integrate with the strap. Um, I've considered clipping this off, just so you don't have to deal with that extra strap. It's obviously a lot safer to have it on, and uh, it would suck, you know, it would really suck if it popped off while you're climbing. So that's why I've kept it. But I've, my other crampons, I don't have this piece, and they're fine too. It's just, it's just kind of preference. But it does come with that, and, it, and you can't remove it. You have to clip it off. So that's why I haven't done it because there's no, com no turning back. Um, all right, I'm gonna do cut it, and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like on the ice. We're gonna show uh, putting that, this this crampon on as well. So it doesn't have the little uh, spikes on the back, the little uh, guides, I suppose. So you. Once you get it, it's fine, but getting it is, I guess, it's not the, as easy as certain other crampons because it doesn't have that. So, just like other crampons, you got the little uh, toe port part to go over the uh, 
portion of your boot, and then you've got this little heel uh, part as well, and then I just pull them up like that. Now they're, they're locked, and to feed them through, go through the toe, and then there's uh, the little two, two rings back here to thread it through as such. And then this tab right here to make it easier to undo when you're done in case they ice up and freeze, which definitely happens. Make sure that tab is facing, it's in line with the, uh, the strap like that. And then you just crank it down and uh, when the, the tab's in line with the strap, that makes it really easy to remove. So you just crank it down and there they are, nice and solid. All right, so here's what they look like on the ice. Got a nice little uh, ledge right here to show you. And you can just see how much stability these have. And here's what I was talking about. So how well they round in. You can just really round them into the ice like that. And just gets a really strong hold without a lot of effort. And they're really stable. Um, so that's a, a really nice feature. And then I'll just do a couple little kicks to kind of show you the purchase. And now you can see it's got all five points in. Those two little auxiliary points at the front went in and how easy that was. That was low effort to get uh, that cramp on a stick like that. So they're just really nice for that. And uh, something I even do with these is I, I, I'll do like a no kick if I'm, if I'm top roping and nicely strapped in and just kind of training or whatever you want to call it, just ha having fun. Uh, I'll, I'll do this with no kicks where you, you just step and uh, sometimes I'll, I'll round my foot in like that too, but sometimes I'll just step and just to practice how how the uh, crampons work and how the stability is and again these things are so stable i mean like you can i'm just setting them down and look at all that contact points i have just doing that so anyway i, I have to say they've got to be one of the most stable if not the most stable crampon on the market and they're really awesome uh i guess i'll show the uh bottom parts of the crampon here as well so it's, it's got a, just a nice shape in general. These are really aggressive. They're gonna keep you stable if you're just hiking around or mountaineering on ice too. Uh, I don't know if they're the best just straight mountaineering crampons. They're definitely spe very specific for cl ice climbing. I'm sure you could use them just fine, um, but they're, they're not like the lightest weight. They're all steel and everything. So something else to consider. But again, super adjustable. Uh, you can change around the mono point. They've got really nice purchase with low effort and a really solid platform to work with. So really they're just an all around incredible cramp on. And uh, I gotta say, I've been really happy with them so far. All right, thanks.